Hello everyone, I'm Noah Brown, and welcome to Tommy Media's The Locker Room. St. Thomas football takes a short trip down Interstate 94 Saturday to clash with conference rival Augsburg. The seventh-ranked Tommies are tied atop the Mayak with Gustavus, while the Augies sit at third with a 1-1 one one conference record. The Tommies are riding high after last Saturday's 20-17 victory over arch-rival St. John's. In that game, lineman Austin Yoakum led a defense that only gave up one total rushing yard, and fullback Jeremy Molina wore down the Johnny Run defense with 61 rushing yards on nine carries. I'm joined this week by Coach Glenn Caruso, Austin Yoakum, and Jeremy Molina. Guys, thanks so much for being in today. Happy to be here with you. All right, so Coach, in the second half against the Johnnies, you had the ball for 25 of 30 minutes, but you're only able to get three points off of that. Going forward, how can the unit uh, keep improving and get more points out of those long drives? Well, finishing in the red zone. That was um, uh, what didn't happen this last game. Certainly the field goals were big, and Brian Steins appear coming back gives us uh, that weapon. That's nice to have. But just finishing those drives, the priority was on uh, making sure that we moved the ball and took care of the clock in 13 plays and 16 plays drives. Those are good. But uh, simply just staying on track and finishing the red zone. That's simple. Uh, and Austin, you are a crucial piece of a unit that held the Johnny offense, which led the Mayak in rushing and still does, uh, to one yard on the ground. Going forward, how do you change that dominance uh, to face now an Augie team that leads the Mayak in passing? I think it's uh, more of us versus us and uh, continuing to be the defense we want to be and keep going that way. Cool. Uh, and so, Jeremy, you had a career day rushing, and you've been a reliable blocker in the backfield since you've been here at St. Thomas. After establishing yourself as a dual threat fullback in that kind of game, how do you expect your role to change in this offense moving forward with the rest of the season? Uh, well, just like anything else, you know, we're going to progress the progress what we've been doing and um, hopefully add on and, you know, uh, make it uh, just put me in a position to, you know, do the things that I've, you know, been able to show that I can do and um, and hopefully moving forward I can continue to do it. And so, Coach, most of the people who follow uh, Tommy football will use Tommy Johnny as sort of a proverbial litmus test to sure. see how good the team is from right. year to year. How do you view the matchup, and how has that changed in the past 10 years that you've been with the team? It's changed a lot, I think. Certainly, the, everyone wants to point to the fact that, you know, when we'd gotten here, it was about 7,000 people at a game, and then last Saturday there was 35, 37,000 people there. So it's grown in terms of popularity, but I think the reason why it's grown in terms of popularity is because both teams have grown on the field. And... Um, what I when I look at Tommy Johnny, I see a great football game. I know there's a lot of pomp and circumstance that goes around it at both schools, but it's two really really good football teams, and I think that's why it's progressed in the manner that it has. Really excited that our guys have learned how to play in the biggest of games and at the most tense of moments, and that's when uh, our program is at its best, and uh, that's what you saw on display on Saturday. And now it's time for this week's fan question. So Austin and Jeremy, uh, grad student Nick Brown wants to know, of all the Tommy Johnny uh, rivalry matches that you've played in in your time here, what has had the most impact on you? Which one has had the most impact on you? I think uh, my sophomore year, Tommy Johnny. That was my first time being on the field for a Tommy Johnny game, and it was at St. John's in front of uh, my hometown's near St. John's, so it was in front of a lot of uh, hometown people that I knew, so I thought that was the biggest game, and we won, so... Um, mine probably goes back last year. Um, that was, in my opinion, that was kind of my first opportunity to, you know, show to the guys on the team uh, what I can do, and that was kind of a really big situation to be able to, you know, show that, uh, you know, I can be reliable back there. What about you, Coach? Over the past four or five years, uh, you've said the most mine impact. is actually one that they didn't mention. It's uh, the playoff game in 2015. So Austin, I think, was alluding to game one in 2015 yep. up there, and Jeremy in 2016 up there. We love playing up there, uh, but in 2015 we got the opportunity to host the playoff game here. And uh, again, two really, really good football teams, and it's so difficult to beat a good team once in a season, let alone twice in a season. And at that point, the rivalry had been going on for over 100 years, I think 117 years, and for us to be the team that was blessed with the opportunity of being able to beat them twice in one season and the second one being in the playoffs at home Thanksgiving weekend, I thought was pretty awesome. And I do have to say it's amazing that we have three different memories and none of them is last Saturday. So maybe right. in time that'll change, <laughs> Right. Right. If you have a fan question, tweet it to at Tommy Media. And that's all the time we have for today on this episode of The Locker Room. Guys, thanks so much for being in. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Be sure to check TommyMedia.com this weekend for full game day coverage. With Coach Caruso, Austin Yoakum, and Jeremy Molina, I'm Noah Brown. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time here in The Locker Room.